Hey guys, Paulie from Stone Clover here. I'm at the Royal Oak Brewery with my best mate Jeremy, head brewer, and kind of all around nice guy. <laughs> and we're making a batch of the Stone Clover style today. Check it out. Right now, Jeremy is doing what we call mashing in. We're taking ground beer grain and introducing it to hot water. And we're hoping to hit a temperature of around 154. What are we aiming for? 154, 155. Yeah, 154, I'm check 155 in a Fahrenheit. And the goal is to take the starch in the grain and through heat convert it into sugars through a process which is called sacrification. All right, so this is a mash tun, which Polly actually already explained what's going on in there. Once it's in here, we do what's called a Vorloff or a recirculation. You're essentially trying to make a clear wort, clear sugar water. You want all the proteins to pack in because you don't want to, you want to minimize the amount of protein you get into your brew kettle. This is also where you add the hops. Hops are kind of, some people say the spice of a beer. There's you know, hundreds of different kinds of hops. Anything from fruity to earthy, all, all over the place. The kind of beer you're gonna make is the kind of hops you're gonna add into that beer. Uh, once it sits in there for a little while and you do anywhere from a 60 to a 90 minute boil, you do what's called a whirlpool. And you just spin it around as much, fast as possible. You're taking all the proteins and trying to suck them into the middle. Once that's done, you move it from the brew kettle through these guys, the heat exchangers. That drops the, uh, the temperature down as quickly as possible so you're not putting boiling hot sugar water into a fermenter with yeast. And then it goes into the fermenters where you add the yeast and that's where it ferments. So the next step in this process is called the Vorlauf which is where we recirculate the wort. That's the sugar water, because it's really not beer until the yeast does the magic. And the sugar water that's coming off of this grain has a lot of particulate, and, uh, high molecular proteins, a lot of heavy stuff. It's and probably gonna get loud. Oh yeah. Just so you know. What we wanna do is we wanna run it back over the grain bed. We're really just recirculating. That's what the Vorlauf means. We're recirculating the wort back over the grain bed, and the grain bed becomes a biscuit and like a filter to pull all those particulates out and hopefully clarify the work a bit to make the whirlpool easier later. All right, I've got a sample of the work Jeremy just gave me. We got about 10, 15 minutes left on the Vorloff, so uh, we should have created a nice amount of sugar. It smells roasty, sweet, even a touch bready. Uh, it just smells like happiness. Oh, it's so beautiful. Let's see what it's like. Let's see what we got. Ah, it's much sweeter than the uh, sample we had earlier because those sugars are being created right now. Ooh, it's gonna be a good beer when it's done. Today we're gonna be using a Magnum hop. It's a bittering hop, uh, generally, which means it's just gonna take a little bit of the sweetness and counteract it. Give us a little balance. This is a sweeter stout we're brewing today, but you still want to cut it with a little bit of hops. And if you don't put hops, it's really not beer, is it now? Huh? <laughs> we just finished running off, which means we've collected all the sugar water or wort, which will be beer later, into the kettle. This is where we're going to boil the wort. We do that to sterilize it because it's always safer to drink the beer when you're out of town because, you know, at least it's sterile. At least that's my excuse for drinking on vacation but also because it kicks off some volatile molecules. It's gonna make this a cleaner, more pure beer. And then once it's boiling, we will add hops, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So until then, see you in a minute. Oh, now for the mash out. This is the spent grain. This is where all the sugar comes from. We take the starch of this with the hot water, convert it to sugar, and we make beautiful sugar water we call wort. Many brewers and breweries will use their spent grain for other purposes, making Red Bulls, a lot of guys give it to farmers because it still has some nutritional value that works for the animals to enjoy. And usually when that happens, the farmer takes some beer with him because he likes the beer that's getting made. And then every once in a while, a brewer will show up and like get a nice steak or some eggs or something. You never know. And it's a great way to stay in shape. <laughs> also, the steam is really good for the skin. Yeah, most brewers, most brewers have wonderfully supple skin, and this is why. That and we, we put on ma night masks yes. before we go to bed, along with our beard oils. <laughs> Don't give out all the secrets. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. currently 
in the whirlpool process where we're spinning the wort in a circle to collect all of the particulate or trube as it's called, the leftover hot material, any protein we've built up. Uh, we're spinning in a circle to get it all to collect in a cone in the center of the vessel. And while we're spinning it in a circle, we're adding lactose to this brew because it's a milk stout. And this is milk sugar. And lactose is a penta sugar, so it, which means it's unfermentable by yeast. So the yeast will eat all the other sugar and make a bunch of alcohol, but this sugar will remain to add residual sweetness to our beer. And that, my friends, a little more body. Yeah, I'm all about more body, baby. And I got my best mate, Mike Gavin, helping me out. Dump this in. You doing all right there, bud? Look, we're doing it together. Watch that first step, it's a doozy. knocking out for the day, which means we're uh, actually shipping wort into the fermenter where the yeast is waiting. Uh, it's going through the heat exchanger, cooling down to a, a temperate, what are we putting it in at? 68 degrees. 68 degrees, so that's what, about 14 or 15 Celsius? Something like that, Something. yeah. For all our Canadian friends. Uh, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with us. Thanks, Jeremy, for hosting. Course, uh, thanks to the Royal Oak Brewery for having us, and make sure you swing by and have one of these tasty lagers, and hopefully a Stone Clover Stout will be on tap when you're in, too. See you soon.